Good morning everyone! I'm a bit more settled now, so I thought it might be nice to film what life and work look like as a graphic and brand designer. It's already my third month in LA, which is crazy to think about, and I'm still exploring the city. LA has a lot more nature than I gave it credit for. Still not that much, but I'm a big fan of Echo Park, and I love the little swan boats! I want to ride in one very soon. One upside to moving here is I've gotten to reconnect with old friends who live in the city. This is Sophia. We've actually known each other since the first grade. She was my first best friend ever, and she's going to be a famous actress. Lately, my routine has consisted of watching Suits at night and getting takeout from Why Not Kebab, one of our favorite new restaurants. We're on season six out of nine seasons. As for work, I've been filming some reels. This is one I made for Figma. It's a super cool plugin for mockups. I highly recommend if you're a brand designer or product designer and you use mockups because this is crazy. I'm working on a magazine for Hyper. I ordered some samples. I really love this salmon color. I feel like it would work really well with our orange text. So I'm kind of leaning towards this, but I also have this. These are the two samples that I'm really, really leaning towards. Nothing wrong with a classic newspaper. It also comes in like many different sizes. So this is obviously a little bit too small, but also really cute. And then this one is really cool too. It is really like thick paper, which I appreciate. Yeah. This is what I'm designing so far. You have the which hyper product are you page and then like a little meet the team page. We have a copywriter writing an article and then like a cute big cover photo that's gonna happen right here. I also have just been kind of fucking around. I've just been making like a ton of different 11 by 17 posters. She is so precious and cute and I love her. Isn't that right? I've been settling in and trying to fill up this new bookshelf. I got this super cool delivery from Type 1. Their magazines are so beautiful. And here I am trying to flip through them as fast as possible to show you as much as possible. They're a great source of inspiration for me. It's a nice break from just going through Pinterest. I'm a fan of tangible books that you can really hold in your hands and look at and cherish. So I really appreciated this delivery from Type 1. So if you're watching this, go out, get a cute magazine, and enjoy it. Just browse through it, spend the day doing whatever you want. I'd really like to have a dedicated shelf to design books, so this is a good start. I also have some regular books to fill up the shelves with, but it's so funny how obvious which books are mine and which books are Sinjin's. What I like about LA is there are so many different pockets and neighborhoods with completely different energy and endless new restaurants to try, endless events happening all around. I feel more motivated to go out and get inspiration from places. Recently we went to the LA Art Book Fair and there were so many super cool books and zines. I used to be so obsessed with this font right here. It's called Maybury. I really wanted to use it in a client project one day, never got around to it. Still love it as a font. One thing I really loved were the risograph posters. I feel like the colors are just so beautiful. They really jump out at you. Oh, love it. It was really nice to be surrounded by people with the same interests as me who really loved art and had an appreciation for these things. And there were so many, there were so many people. So it was, it was cool to be here. The energy was good. This is another great example of ways to get inspiration outside of just Pinterest and scrolling on websites and stuff. I feel like it's really good to get out there and see tangible art. Really big fan of that. So yes, I highly recommend checking out a book fair one day. This is my very small haul that I got. I have a bunnies print on my fridge now. In my free time, I've gotten back into painting. I don't have much art on my walls yet, so I bought a few canvases. And painting is just one of those hobbies I have where there's very little pressure to be good. So I kind of just end up making simple drawings and shutting off my brain for a little bit. I'm using gouache paints, but I haven't really mastered the art of the gouache paint and I think it's because I get a little bit too impatient 
and I just put a lot of water on it instead of just waiting for the paint to dry and let it be thick. Also, if anyone knows how to stop your paintbrush hairs from sticking to the canvas, because there are so many hairs on this canvas and I just have to like pick them out when it dries and I don't enjoy doing that, please let me know. I have immense respect for painters and artists because this is nothing like opening up Photoshop and just making a poster. You're really, you're really putting in the work to get this painting done, so I really admire painters. It is hard. Overall, there's just been a lot of exploring, lots of trying new foods. I don't know if this is a hot take, but I kind of feel like LA has better food than New York. My boyfriend has been getting very into golf lately, so we've been going to Dick's Sporting Goods a lot to test out the clubs. This is me and him testing out the little golfing area in the store. We both look really bad here, but he's actually good apparently. Saturday, a storm is supposed to be coming. I have really awful period cramps, so I'm just gonna take it easy today. We're gonna have a chill day in. I don't know, I've been doing this thing where I'm trying not to design at all on weekends, but it's just been so long since I've designed for myself. And I feel like that's not really work. It, it gives me energy. I'm trying to avoid doing something productive every single day because I think I get a little bit obsessive sometimes and it's like if I don't do something productive for the day then I just feel bad and I think that's a really unhealthy way of living it's just super lame to live your life always thinking about work and like bettering yourself so I'm trying not to do that anyway I went to the library and I picked up three new books and they're slightly different from books that I normally pick up so I'm excited about them this one is called Quarter Life, The Search for Self in Early Adulthood. Pretty fitting. And then this one is The Feeling of Falling in Love. I don't think it's like smut or anything though, so um, I don't know. Hopefully it's good. I don't even know if this is necessarily why- oh it is YA. This is YA, okay. And then The Humans by Matt Haig, who is a pretty famous author. I think he wrote The Midnight Library, which is like a very popular book right now. This is actually my favorite type of weather. It's super, super cloudy. And ever since moving to LA, it's just been pretty rare to see this. So I'm kind of hyped about it, even though it means it's a storm. And I don't really know how serious the storm is gonna be because I, I don't know, I'm from California. So I have a pretty warped perspective on weather. Like I don't really understand the concept of rain too well because it doesn't happen that often. And when it rains, it's never like a serious rain. It's just like a cute little drizzle, so. We'll see how this goes. I'm at a point where I can feel myself getting a little bit more burnt out. The last real vacation I took was in February, and lately the days have all started to feel the same. I wake up, do a little workout, and then I get to work until like 5 or 6, and then I eat dinner, maybe read, go to bed, and it repeats itself all over again. But it feels like there's so much to constantly do within the workday, and I feel so grateful for having a steady flow of projects. But I've also gotten pretty good at being aware of how much energy I have left and this month especially, I feel like my body has been just begging me to take a break. It's, it's kind of been like project after project and I definitely haven't been creating for fun as much as I'd like to or making YouTube videos at a pace that I'd like to be making them. And I've also just been consistently questioning what really makes me happy. Will I be more fulfilled chasing projects or spending time with people who make me laugh, who really care about me? 
and how do I actually find that balance? I feel like this is such a silly first world problem to have. I really said Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And I'm kind of starting to think that this is what your 20s are all about, just kind of stumbling around, asking what the point of it all is, and feeling a little bit lost, but trying your best anyways. That sounds super corny, actually, but I really do feel this in my heart. So that's what I've been up to lately. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. YouTube has been a really special project for me. Something about making long form content is so damn rewarding because it takes so long. And I really appreciate you guys for being here so far. Sending a big hug to everyone who needs one and I'll talk to you soon.